as Ziggy said tonight, the excuses have got to stop. You know, we're missing important players. Obviously, there's young guys coming in into the team, but it was a time to stand up and, you know, be counted. We're still in a good position. Um, you know, we're looking probably another six weeks till those guys get back. And, and we've got to stay around there. And we know we'll finish the season strong with them. Could you sense a frustration building at all? That was a long time to be playing a man up and not get a goal. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, you know, they worked really hard. You know, you can see why um, they're top of the, you know, um, division. Um, you know, they're, they're an honest team, uh, work really hard, and, and they made it difficult for us. Um, but we had to keep believing. You know, we, all, we knew that we only needed one chance. You know, I think we was really good defensively tonight. Um, that's what our season's been built on, you know, being good at the back, keeping clean sheets. Uh, and the last four games, we've been all over the place, you know, so we've worked in, in the week, you know, um, keeping a good shape and um, obviously taking our chances. And, you know, it, it's something that we can build on now. Yeah, I think, um, to be honest with you, I think Dylan had hit a few balls and it had it gone over the top and I'd really been a little bit defensive and, and stayed back. Um, but, you know, that time, I don't know why I felt I needed to go forward. And, yeah, I had a lot of time to think about it. And, you know, it was just about getting a good connection and, and hitting that far post. Ziggy said you did it for the Queen. Yeah, that's what the older guy said when I come in. No, I definitely did it for us. You know, we, we needed it. You know, I think um, my first thought was to run over to the bench, you know, because we're, we're a big family here, you know, and, and we're all hurting. I know the fans have been as well. So, you know, I wanted to celebrate with everybody. What did it mean to return home after a losing streak and get three points? Yeah, um, you know, we came into the dressing room before the game and we all said that, you know, tonight is where we get a result. You know, we can't think about going a goal down or, you know, not playing well. We had to get a result, whatever it took. If we had to play ugly, we was going to do that. But we was coming off the pitch with a result. Ty, not only your first goal in Rave Green, but your first goal in nearly five years. Did you feel like you're about due? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I'd missed a lot of football with my, you know, my broken leg, you know, pretty much three seasons. So it's been really frustrating, but, uh, you know, I'm feeling better, you know, playing a lot more games now and, you know, there's still a lot more to come from me, definitely. You remember that last goal? Do you remember that last goal you scored five years ago? Uh, maybe a free kick. I can't remember. I think I, I think probably for Burnley, I scored a couple of uh, free kicks, so I'm guessing it was one of those. I think someone said it was Derby, but... No, no, it was Burnley. <laughs> it was yeah, it was Burnley, yeah. I scored two free kicks for them.